broke out at the Belandu Lake, triggering panic among motorists on the busy Sharpara Road. And the flames raged for a while and the area was enveloped by huge clouds of smoke. Now, fires are often sparked by deadly effluence in the lake, but this time it was a pile of burning garbage that caused the scare. Deputy Commissioner of Police Traffic East Division of Bengaluru City has tweeted and issued an advisory. Over the last one year, they have been saying that the lake has garnered international attention for the fourth spills over the road and nearby toxic fumes that have been igniting simultaneously, spontaneously, pardon me, in that particular area. Now, what we know so far, that it was around 10 p.m. by the time they managed to put out the fire. And according to the hasty movements of the firemen, as reported, they could not attempt to find the source of the smoke as they had no way to access the spot at that time. Now we have a correspondent, uh, Nishita Virendra, joining us uh, from Bengaluru. Nishita, this is an ongoing, or we see it every, almost every time. What has caused the fire this time? Well, this time around, uh, we're being told that since uh, the lake has been polluted and has been rendered unusable for a while now, close to 10 years now, uh, it has uh, resulted in many of the locals really using it to dump debris. Uh, not just that, uh, we understand that many of these lorries and tractors come in from different parts of the city and dump uh, waste material, garbage and debris uh, in this lake, uh, causing for a lot of dry waste to accumulate here. And that caught fire late last night and uh, uh, that is what led to the lake also getting fire. Now, we have seen previous instances where the froth uh, of this lake has been flammable and uh, we have seen that investigations had been conducted as well and it was uh, concurred by the investigating authorities the Karnataka Pollution Control Board uh, that it is because of the methane buildup due to the toxic waste being dumped into the lake by industries nearby uh, and this is untreated sewage that is being dumped into the lake. There has been buildup of methane in the lake and that is what is catching fire. So it has become a major cause of concern in the past as well. And yesterday's incident has once again sent alarm bells ringing because a small fire has led to the debris around it catching fire goes on to speak that uh, not only is uh, the BDA as well as the Lake Development Authority not bothered about cleaning up the existing uh, um, uh, existing uh, sewage in the lake and uh, rejuvenating the lake, but also they're not stopping extra waste from coming uh, to the lake and being dumped. So the local residents are extremely worried because it is, no, it is more than a health hazard now. It could pose to be a major danger to them if they are passing by this lake. We know the froth has reached... Uh, the bridge of this lake and has even covered the bridge on multiple occasions, especially during the rainy season. Uh, but now we understand that because of the debris being accumulated, there is more possibility of fire uh, recurring uh, here at uh, the Belanduru Lake. So, th so definitely a cause of concern at uh, the moment. But unfortunately, as we have seen in the past, the BBMP has not reacted. They have chosen uh, to not respond on the matter. We're still trying to get a reaction from them, uh, but they are continuing to weigh their words before responding. And uh, uh, despite uh, the fight going on for close to 10 to 12 years now, right. nothing substantial has been done. Right. Thank you, Nishtada. Do stay with us. We're now being joined by an environmentalist, uh, Leo Sadana. Leo, my question to you is the battle to clean up the lake has been going on for a very long time now. Why isn't it succeeding despite so many efforts? Do something about it. Are basically writing reports and making budgets. In fact, I believe 1,000 crores is the budget that was proposed to comprehensively solve the problem of the Bellendor Lake series. Now, I would like to ask, why do they need 1,000 crores? Because if they had actually looked at the Water Act and all the other pollution-related acts, they would have found that the industries which are contaminating should have been shut down. Pollution Control Board has powers to sue or to go and cut off the power and water supply to those industries which are not making their effluent treatment plants function, to shut down the ETPs of apartments which are letting it out, 
to take action against the Bangalore Development Authority, which is allowing untreated sewage from its layouts to come into the canals, which is contaminating this massive lake. And there are three massive lakes there, the Agara, Bellandur, and Varsu. Uh, uh, All three are contaminated. And uh, it's simply because there is uh, regional pollution, and it can only be stopped by taking up a very, very serious uh, approach against all the polluters. And the big ones, go after them first. Shut them down. Otherwise, this is going to happen every month, every year, and you know, we're just going to have the same stories repeat. And it's been going on for five years now. Right, and thank you uh, with that, um, uh, Mr. Leo. We'll come back to you in just a short while. But right now, we're also joined by Pramila Nesargi, who is an eminent Bangalorean. Uh, Pramila, my question to you is, you know, the mismanagement of solid waste, uh, uh, you know, here in by the Bangalore Water Supply and the Sewage Board in preventing sewage from entering the lake, uh, does this suggest that this is a sluggish approach of the government and not being able to rejuvenate the lake for a very long time because we know the problem persists for all that while? See, I agree with you, you know, because there is no management in the first instance. Secondly, what has happened is there is a link between uh, understanding between the contractors who are dealing with this waste management and the government, they get some pocket money every month. So what they are doing is they are not discontinuing them, they are giving the same thing to them, which is you know, the entire Bangalore is being contaminated day by day. Look at the irony in Bellandu, Vartur and other tanks. The poisonous gas are accumulating and there is a fire now. And uh, whatever they wanted to do, they have not been able to curb it. On the other hand, they enhance it. Similarly, it is going to be extended to other tanks as well. The reason is they have no mind, there is no will to con uh, contain this. In fact, I myself gave a solution to them by giving a CD, you know, where they, how the, these things are managed in Israel. That was uh, looked into by the concerned minister, but it was held. They were not done. In fact, they would have been benefited. The, technique, the uh, technology from Israel, if they would have got it, they could have managed the waste management and on the other hand, they would have been benefited. But they never, never wanted to do that. This uh, technique has been adopted in Bombay and all other places. Even in Madras, they have taken it. That's why there is no problem. But in Bangalore, they do not want because they want the underhand money. Without the money, nothing moves in Bangalore and in Karnataka. That is why all these things are happening and the people are becoming the victims day by day. And I do not know how many more tanks will be contaminated like this and how how many more people will die with the result. The one is air pollution, second is water pollution. Both pollution as a together, there is a you know, calamity in the entire state as well. That is the position of Bangalore. Right, uh, Pramila. And also they're saying that uh, the work is in progress, which includes also establishing a sewage treatment plant, uh, which should have been completed within two months and which would treat chemical affluence. But uh, I think uh, what the authorities or the BSS, uh, BWSSB uh, chairman has been saying, that they are not designed to handle. What do you think about that? No, that they're not doing this. There is no understanding between the pollution board, the environmental authorities and the water board and other. See, unless there is a coordination and understanding between them, nothing will happen. Besides that, you know, they must have some mind. They must consult some techni uh, technical advisors, experts in the field, and then they take their opinion. Only they can do. They are not willing to do that. They want somehow or the other these things to continue, and the problems should continue, like water problem, water problem. This will continue, and they will be enjoying it. They get the pocket money, you know, that's the reason. Every month they get the, uh, be it the panchayat members, be it the municipality members, be it the ministry level. Right. And all these officers, you know, they are one, so far the money is concerned. That's the reason why these things are happening. They must take a stern view. They, we have the Tata Institute, we have got good experts in the field, and they can take their opinion, they can entrust it to them. They will do it, but they won't do that. That's the reason. Right. Despite garnering international attention or, you know, for the fourth of spills over the roads nearby and the toxic fumes that have been ignited spontaneously uh, so often that we've seen every time we hear about uh, the Bellandur Lake, we're always, you know, the per a permanent solution hasn't really reached. So what have the authorities been, uh, you know, being able to do about this? See, they must go to the route and find out what's the reason. 
See, hey, the, whatever the passage, you know, underground drainage is there, the recharging water is there, all those things are closed. Buildings have come up within the radius, and they're not preventing that. Unless those obstructions are removed and water flow is made easy, and these things are not being undertaken because of the powerful persons in the chain, they don't do that. Even the one is keeping the water clean. How to make it clean? Unless this uh, civilized water is allowed to be stopped, that's uh, allowing this uh, civilized water to go to the tanks, what will happen? This is the reason they must be stopped all over and they must take precautionary measures to see that nothing goes inside the tank. And all other precautionary measures must be taken to see that these uh, tanks are uh, not contaminated and it is purified. But uh, that effort is not there at all. Right. Uh... Do stay with us, uh, Pramila. We're now being joined by Kiran Mazdumla Shah, who's also an eminent Bangalorean and a chairman and a managing director of Biocon uh, Limited. Uh, Ms. Shaw, my question to you is that this has been a very recurring uh, sort of problem with the Belandu Lake. Why haven't the authorities been able to act on this and what do they need to do to right the situation now? All right, we'll reconnect to Miss uh, Shaw soon again. We're going back to our correspondent, uh, Nishchita Virenza. Nishchita, so my question, I will toss back to you as well, that this is a very recurring problem. This is nothing new. Why haven't the authorities been able to come out with a uh, strengthened strategy, so to say, to be able to prevent this from not happening? And as we know, the, you know, the solid waste, or the, the garbage is being dumped and be, being burned every time in the lake. So what permanent solution needs to be reached and what do the authorities really need to do? Well, every time uh, the, uh, the, the media focuses on this issue, every time there is an uproar, every time uh, the local residents who have been fighting this issue uh, get a shot in the arm because of uh, the media attention, you have, you, you have the government coming in and uh, presenting stopgap solutions. The last time around, they installed sprinklers right at the lake so that the sprinklers can spray water all through the day and keep uh, the foam in control. Uh, you saw them put up uh, a 10-foot a high barricade uh, 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 both on both sides of the bridge so that the foam doesn't overpour onto the bridge. But no one is really looking at plugging the uh, issue itself at its very root. Uh, that, uh, in other words, it is uh, the untreated sewage that is being pumped into the lake uh, relentlessly. Bailanduru Lake is the biggest lake of Bengaluru, and Bengaluru, for most part of its existence, has survived on these network of lakes. But because of Bailanduru Lake being polluted, the adjoining lakes, the Vartur Lake, uh, is also facing pollution, and now Bengaluru has only a handful right. of these lakes left. Whether it is the individual activists, whether it is scientists from uh, the Indian Institute of Science, whether it is the local residents, or even for that matter, the Karnataka State Pollution right. Control Board. Very clearly, reports have, uh, the investigations have been conducted and reports have been presented and solutions have also been presented to the government. But the government so far has not shown any will to fix the problem except for offering this right, service, uh, Jessica. Thank you so much uh, for joining us with those updates and that, those particular inputs. Uh, we'll come back to that story in a while. But right now, we'll look into our